All right, we're uh, asked to find the uh, relative extrema, and uh, by relative extrema, I mean to say um, min or maximum points uh, of f of x. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is to uh, take the derivative, because remember the derivative tells us the slope of the line, of, of a tangent line. So the derivative kind of tells us whether the function is increasing or decreasing at some given point. So f prime of x is equal to 2x plus 2. And then what we want to do now is uh, set this equal to 0 and just uh, simply solve for x. And of course this is an easy one here. So I'm going to take uh, the 2 to the over to the left And then divide both sides by 2, and therefore x is equal to negative 1. Now what we want to do is draw a number line. I'm going to take this negative 1 here. This is known as my critical point, and I'm just going to put that right here in the middle of my number line. Now what I want to do is uh, choose some test points. And I'll choose, you can choose any point to the left of negative 1. Uh, we'll choose something easy like negative 2. And then choose, a, choose something to the right of negative 1. And how about 0? 0 is always a good one to choose. Because you're going to have to take these numbers and plug them back into the derivative. And so I'm going to take negative 2 and I'll plug it into the derivative. So f prime of negative 2 is equal to 2 times negative 2 plus 2. And uh, of course that's going to be equal to, we got uh, 2 negative times negative 2 is negative 4, negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Now all we're concerned about is, is the sign if it's positive or negative. And in this particular case, it's negative. So that means that the graph must be decreasing at negative 2. So I'm going to indicate that with this uh, negative sign. And also, I'm going to indicate it saying, hey, look, if you chose any to the left of negative 1 and you plugged it into the derivative, we would get a negative. All right, now I'm going to see what's happening over here on the right-hand side of negative 1. So I pick a number, and I'll pick 0, because 0 is an easy number to pick. And <clears throat> we'll plug that into the derivative. So f prime of 0. And so we end up having 2 times 0 plus 2. And that's going to be equal to 2. Now that's positive. And so we're going to indicate that with a plus sign here, and uh, I'm going to draw a line that has positive slope, meaning everything to the right of negative 1, if you plugged it into the derivative, it would have a positive, the tangent line would be positive. And this indicates that the graph is increasing. So as you can see, the graph is decreasing from negative infinity to negative 1, and then the graph is increasing from negative 1 to infinity. So without actually having to graph this function out, uh, we can at least get an idea taking the first derivative, finding a critical value, plugging in your test points, and evaluating that. We can get an idea of what this graph is doing. And so we'll say then that right here at negative 1, this is a relative minimum. And so to actually find the actual point on the graph, what you're going to do is take negative 1 and plug it back into the original function. So I'll do that. So I'll move on down here. So we have f of negative 1 is equal to negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 1. 
So negative 1 squared is 1. That's going to be negative 2. So that's going to be negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And so the actual point, we'll write it out here, as negative 1 comma negative 2. And this is a minimum. So you can graph this out and uh, take a look at it for yourself.